Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with a brand new unit roster video of the Northern Illyrian units. Yesterday, we covered all of the Southern Illyrian units, so if you didn't see that video, check it out in the description below, and make sure you like and subscribe while you're there as well. But without further ado, guys, it is time to look at some stunning northern illyrian units so here we have the standard northern illyrian roster guys and in general compared to the southern illyrians you're going to see less influences from greece and from the thracians etc you're going to see more influences from their own culture the illyrian culture as well as sort of pannonian culture maybe a little bit of celtic too so more influences from those regions rather than the greeks in terms of your missile units guys you get the basic slave javelin men and slave slingers that you can see right in front of us here but we covered them yesterday so check out yesterday's video to see a review of them but instead of the Southern Illyrian Skirmishers, you get the Northern Illyrian Skirmishers instead, of course. And these guys, as you can see, straight out of the fields, ready to go with their javelins. I absolutely do love these hats that show them, of course, they've been toiling in the fields up to this point. Overall, though, these are actually an excellent skirmishy unit, guys. Very good indeed. 23 defense is absolutely fantastic for a skirmish unit. It's not much for anything else, but a skirmish unit, it is brilliant. With 15 morale as well, 12 melee attack that is armor piercing, and 10 missile attack, of course, with their jabbies. Honestly, these guys will stand up to the Thracian Peltas, who are one of the best Peltas units in the game. So they are a fantastic addition to any Northern Illyrian roster. Now let's move on to the Northern Illyrian Levy that are a fantastic looking unit. Once again, you can tell that they are Levy units through those farming hats. Some of them do have helms, can afford helms, but mostly they are there as Levy units to garrison your cities and all that sort of juicy business. Very cool with massive spears once again. And as you can see, they have 29 defense, which is not great, but great amount of defense skill, 14 morale, 11 melee attack, and 8 missile attack for 7 Javi. So they're going to be okay, like the Southern Illyrian ones were as well. They're not going to be fantastic. Remember, they are levy units. They are not there to be a powerhouse on the battlefield, are they? They are there just as levy units. And as I said yesterday, throughout these rosters, you're going to see fast moving and very good stamina. And of course, combat bonus in woods or snow for most of the Illyrian units, which is really, really cool and allows your armies to move very fast and get flanking maneuvers off much quicker than your Italic and your Greek counterparts. So now let's move on to the Northern Illyrian Axemen. I absolutely love their helms with the little crests around the circular donut crests around them. I don't know what the technical name for that is, but I just think that they are absolutely stunning. Once again, the textures being shown off fantastically. Look at the bosses on the shields. But these guys, yep, looking pretty mean for a lightly armored unit. And I just love the look of all the axemen, to be honest. I just love axes, guys, I've got to say. And these guys, of course, are armor piercing as well with 14 melee attack. 28 defense is not brilliant, but that 14 melee attack that's armor piercing is fantastic. 10 missile attack with six javies too. So these guys are your flanking masters early in the game. Very nice. And of course, very good morale of 15 with fast moving and the ability to have very good stamina as well. So a really good sword and board unit, you would say, but they're not sword and board, they're axe and board. Axe and board unit, very solid unit. Going to see you through most of the early game. So now we have the Northern Illyrian Spearmen. And as you can see again, as a theme throughout a lot of the Northern Illyrian roster is that they don't have that much armor apart from the elites compared to the Southern Illyrian units. However, they are still a very good roster. I love those domed helms with the brass bosses on. Very nice 
indeed. And the square shields, interesting thing to see. I love the variety of shields that we've got on show once again. And these guys are slightly different to the southern Illyrian spearmen. They're a little bit worse, I believe, in terms of their defense, mainly because of that lack of armor that you can clearly see on them. But 15 morale and 13 melee attack with 32 defense. They're not going to be able to beat hoplites, guys, most of the time, but they're going to be able to hold the line while your armor piercing and shock troops can get around the back. So now let's move on to the glorious cavalry of Illyria, guys. And we covered the uh, Illyrian Thuriophoroi cavalry yesterday, so I'm not going to go over them again. But once again, looking absolutely stunning, aren't they? So here's a unit that most of the southern Illyrians don't get. The Illyrian Axe Cavalry. Yes, axe-wielding cavalry, guys, which is just so cool. I, As I said before, I love axes. So these guys are really cool to me. And they have amazing helms as you can see very lightly armored very likely a swift and fast shock cavalry so as you can see they are a light cavalry unit guys they are fast moving of course like many light cavalry but they are armor piercing with that 10 melee attack on the axe honestly their stats are not so impressive so even that armor piercing is not going to be fantastic but it will mean that these guys stand up a lot longer in extended cavalry fights against hetairoi against zistaphoroi and against the salians than you might think they are going to stand up a little bit longer and of course they have the option of throwing javelins as well honestly in my opinion if you're not a big missile cavalry fan like me I would pick these guys over missile cavalry every day of the week because they can do them both. Not necessarily the missile part better, but there's no actual deficit to these guys with missiles. They're just going to be better in melee than most missile cavalry. So I would pick these guys over some of the other missile cavalry that might be available. So now let's move on to the Northern Illyrian Cavalry, a Javi Cav unit for you that is standard across all of the Northern Illyrian rosters. Once again, looking very nice with those tunics and the light armor, as we've said, is a very common theme throughout the Northern Illyrian rosters. Very quick units with very little armor, ready to shock the enemy into submission. And again, guys, we get these dome sort of helms. I really do love these helms. And I just love the amount of detail that goes in on that helm. What crazy people are zooming in this far apart from me? <laughs> That's what I want to know to even see that detail. Just look at it. Even on the ridge on the top of the helm, there is detail. What a fantastic looking helm. As you might expect from a light cavalry, they don't have much defense, they don't have much morale, and they are there just to chuck missiles into the enemy. They do have an armor-piercing secondary weapon that I'm wondering whether we can see. It's probably a sicker. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks very much like it's a sicker. Ah, it is a sicker, as we can see, a curved knife which is really cool so they do have armor piercing nine melee attack which is better than you expect but overall these guys are not going to do well in melee so you want to keep them out of melee chucking javelins into the enemy so now we come on to the northern illyrian general guys and what else could it be than an axe wielding unit don't these guys look mean don't they look scary they look fan fantastic i love the detail on these boys once again with some epic helms it's got to be said look at the plumage on those helms and the capage as well very cool indeed now fundamentally this unit is very different to the unit of the southern illyrians for the general they generally have lower stats but they get six rounds of javelins to chuck into the enemy, which the Southern Lyrians don't get. They are just a pure melee general. These guys are a skirmisher and then uh, a melee general. But they are armor-piercing too with those axes. And although the Southern Illyrian general has an armor-piercing secondary weapon, you're going to have to press the alt attack to do that. Whereas these guys on any melee are going to be armor-piercing right away. And although they have less charge and less defense, I think they're going to stand up pretty well in general because of those javelins and because 
of that armor-piercing melee attack. So, a decent general unit. Very cool indeed. And I love the fact that they're quite differentiated from the Southern Illyrians. Fundamentally, it's a very different unit with very different strengths and weaknesses to the Southern Illyrian unit. And that is something that I absolutely love. So there we have the standard roster for the Illyrians, guys, but we're going to now move on to all the unique units for each of the factions, which there are many, which is really cool to see. But before we do that, guys, let's check out the Pannonian Cavalry, an AOR unit in Pannonia, as the name might suggest. As you can see, they've got these cool hats uh, that, that have been seen on a lot of the light units in northern Illyria. Very nice indeed. A bit of capage going on too for this light cavalry unit. And they are a javelin cavalry skirmisher unit. But here we go. Very similar stats to the uh, to the northern Illyrian cavalry. They've got 11 defense and also prodromoi as well. 7 morale, 7 melee attack and 9 missile attack. So they're only going to be useful for throwing javies at the enemy. Not much else. So bear that in mind if you want to get these guys. Of course, that 24 charge can always be a little bit useful. It's not a terrible, terrible stat. That charge can be used over and over again. But do be wary. If these guys get touched by missiles or they stay in the fight for a second too long, they are going to be falling like flies, guys. So uh, make sure if you are charging them in, you charge them in, you get them out right away. <laughs> So let's now take a look at the history roster, guys. They have the standard roster apart from the Axe Cavalry, but that is for very good reason. But the first unique units that they get are the History Swordsmen. Look at these guys. These guys look rough and ready to go. What an awesome looking unit. Pretty imposing I've got to say if you saw these men on the battlefields. Those swords look ready to slash and dash. A really really cool looking unit. These guys overall are a pretty fantastic sword and board unit. 16 morale, 17 melee attack, 33 defense with only 2 armor is quite low of course remember guys. But that defense skill of 25 is fantastic. So these boys are going to do amazingly well against armor-piercing units like the Romfire Foroy of Thrace and the Trollian Infantry, all that sort of thing. And, of course, other Illyrians. So these are certified armor-piercing unit killers, which is really cool because 17 melee attack is fantastic, especially for a fast-moving elite... Sorry, a fast moving light infantry unit and of course along with that they get that 11 missile attack for six javis guys so these are a very high tier mid tier unit like i hesitate to say they're elite because of that low defense but they are on the cusp of being elite and they're going to serve you very well throughout the whole campaign and secondly, we don't get the Northern Illyrian Axe Cavalry or the Illyrian Axe Cavalry because we have the History Axe Cavalry and own their own unique Axe Cavalry unit, which is really, really cool. I love the colors on the History as well. Really nice to see the light blues and the light, gre light greens coming through. And once again, awesome little shields with these swirling patterns. Very nice to see. Overall, they're very comparable to the Axe Cavalry. I think they've got a little bit less defense, maybe one less defense. So slightly worse than the standard Axe Cavalry. But as we've spoke about before, these guys, these Axe Cavalry units are quite good all-round light cavalry units rather than just skirmisher cavalry or just light cavalry. They can do both. So they're going to be a very versatile unit for you throughout the whole game. So now let's move on to the Liberni guys, a very cool faction in the north of Illyria. In terms of a faction, they are very interesting because they get a bit of a hybrid roster. They have the Southern Illyrian Cavalry rather than the Northern Illyrian Cavalry. And they also get the Southern Illyrian Skirmishers rather than the Northern Illyrian Skirmishers. And they don't get any Axe Cavalry as well to represent the fact that they were pirates and they were raiders and they raided far and wide, far down into the south of Illyria and into Greece as well. 
In terms of their unique units, we start with the Liburnian Pirates, guys. And look at the boys. Finally, Clubman, move aside. We have a beastly pugilist now in town. These guys with clubs and hammers ready to smash their invaders to death, presumably. Very cool unit. I love blunt weapons. I don't know whether I've said that before, guys, but I definitely have. I love units with blunt weapons. Very cool indeed. And just look at the texturing on these wicker shields. Absolutely stunning. As a unit goes, though, however, they are pretty low to mid tier. They are light infantry that is fast moving, of course, but they get a few javies. They get the six javies with 10 missile attack, which of course is nothing to sniff at. They also get the ability to war cry, which is pretty cool. But 30 defense is very low. That will mean they're very fast with such little armor. But 15 morale and 12 melee attack is not too bad at all. Uh, but overall, you know, a pretty low to mid tier unit. Next up, we have an altogether different prospect. The Liburnian Marines. These guys look mean as you like. Hard as hell and ready to smash the enemy. Again, very lightly armored because, of course, they are marines. They are used to traveling on ships. You don't want heavy armor if you fall in the sea, guys, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but those sicker uh, swords, those sicker knives, and the big shields make these quite an imposing unit, especially with the glorious plumage on show, too. These guys can also war cry, and they are a pretty strong unit overall for a light infantry 31 defense pretty good for a light infantry unit overall with that six shield again very low armor but they again have an armor piercing sicker which is going to do a serious amount of damage with that 15 melee attack 16 morale again is fantastic and of course loads of javi six javis to fire into the enemy with 11 missile attack these overall are a fantastic fantastic light infantry unit and to represent the Liburnian's escapades in Greece, we have the Liburnian Thurio Foroi here in the Greek style, but with undoubtedly Illyrian shields and Illyrian helms. Well, Illyrian design shields, obviously Thurios shields, uh, but Illyrian helms as well. And some of them with the Illyrian breastplates that are just so beautiful, aren't they? What a glorious looking unit. And these guys are every bit as strong as they look too. So as you can see, a really fantastic Thurio 4 unit. This would be an elite Thurio 4 unit in Greece, never mind in Illyria, guys, with 42 defense. That is fantastic for an uh, a Thurio 4 -oi. 18 morale as well is also really good. And 16 melee attack with a spear with six javis to fire into the enemy. So these are the ones that you want to hold your lines while the marines get around the back. A really, really nice unit. I'm going to do a lot of damage early on in the campaign and going to hold the line later on down the line too. So a really good unit overall for the Liburnians. So now on to the Iapodes guys who have a couple of nice little foot units. The first of these is the Iapodian Swordsman with the little sicker knives that we see once again. These guys have the chainmail to represent their affiliations with the Celts and the uh, Celtic peoples to the north of Paeonia, which is really, really cool to see. And the large square shields for a lot of them looking absolutely glorious once again. In terms of their stats, guys, they are, of course, armor piercing once again and a fast moving light infantry unit with 17 morale, 15 melee attack and 33 defense, 10 of which is against missiles. So these guys are going to stand up a little bit better against missiles. They're not going to fall like flies with a few javis to throw as well. Overall, a really versatile light infantry unit that we see common across all of these Illyrian rosters. Very versatile indeed. I'm going to be a decent unit throughout the game. Very I've nice. I've just noticed quite a few of these guys have these cool little torques around the neck, which is a really, really cool touch. Next up, we have the Iapodian Elite Spearmen. These boys, again, got some of the chainmail on that you are likely to see with the sort of more Celtic peoples than the Illyrians and these nice little circular shields that are really, really colorful 
and cool. Very, uh, very green. A lot of green going throughout this roster, which really does fit them. I really, really do like it. And these guys have got the requisite capage for the eliteness that they are too, which is really good to see. Overall, these guys do live up to their name being very elite indeed. With 18 morale, 15 melee attack, and 40 defense. One thing to note though, they aren't fast moving. Oh no, they are fast moving as a spearman. So again, another fantastic fast moving spearman unit. These guys have great defense. So they're going to hold the line very, very well against a lot of units. 32 defense skill is certified armor piercing killers as well, which is really, really awesome. I love the look of these boys. And these guys are going to stand up for a very long period throughout the whole campaign. So on to the final faction, guys, the Day City 8, who get a couple of lighter units as their unique units. First of all, we have the Day City 8 Footmen, who are very colorful indeed. I love the bright yellow on these boys. And they have a little bit of capage too, with some awesome plumage going on as well. These guys are sort of a hybrid unit and it shows in both their weapons that they are holding, which is really, really nice to see. A very cool unit indeed. So as you can see, they are actually classed as light infantry guys with 11, mis 11 melee attack. They of course are fast moving, but they have a load of javis and they've got 28 defense. Overall, I think these guys are are a unit that you could use instead of your skirmisher units. So you could use these Day City 8 footmen instead of a skirmisher unit, and they're going to be better than any skirmisher unit in melee, but also do a fantastic job with skirmishing and javelins. And with that six defense against missiles, they're going to be a little bit better at taking other skirmishers' missiles too. So overall, quite a versatile early game light infantry unit. And next we have the Day City 8 cavalry, a unique cavalry for the Day City 8. And again, I love the bright reds and yellows on some of these guys' tunics. Really, really cool. I love the uh, the capage too and the plumage going on. I know I've said that a lot, guys, but honestly, these units are just so beautiful, aren't they? They are fantastic. So overall, this is a better version of the Illyrian Cavalry with 13 defense rather than 11. I think they've got the same morale and melee attack. Again, they're going to be very vulnerable to missiles with only two armor. Uh, and they're not going to be very good in melee, like we've said before. But you've got your Axe Cavalry for that, guy. So these guys are going to be skirmisher units through and through. Well, there we go, guys, the glorious units of Northern Illyria. And if you did enjoy the video, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated, guys. And make sure you share this with anyone else interested in this Illyrian history. And comment down below, which is your favorite Northern Illyrian unit? I think I would probably go for one of the Liburnian units, potentially the Liburnian pirates, just because I love I love uh, blunt weapons, so uh, that is probably my choice. But overall, the level of detail and work that has gone into these units is, again, absolutely fantastic and really just blows me away every single time, I've got to say. And I hope it's blown you away as well. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, and I will see you all again on the next video.